Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Count Christo and this is the War of the Three Oceans. In this episode, we're going to crush Japan, possibly also New Zealand. And in doing so, we're going to end the Allied presence in pretty much Asia at this point. We're, almost, we're kicking them out of the entire continent today, I think. Unless I've uh, missed anywhere crucial. We should get some better cruiser armor, I think. Nice convoy raiding taking place around Australia, weakening them, ready for our blow to fall. We are uh, not quite ready. A few more men need to arrive at their stations, but then we'll be good to go. The only remaining high resistance level is in Kashmir. I think if I have this guy just wander in, it'll start decreasing. And as Delhi goes down, the only thing that's actually going to cause growth here is going to tank. Good. Okay, now these invasions down here have finished, you two can merge back into the main force. That wasn't the only thing supporting this invasion, was it? No, he had the uh, the minor troops helping out with him. And now we've got such big presence, we can see that, yeah, the New Zealand is actually relatively well defended. Okay, launch the invasions. All active. All active. And you guys just immediately spread inland as soon as you arrive. I want to see mad rushes. Oh, I missed one! Outrageous. One of you. Cancel your plan. I have a new new naval invasion for you. We'll probably get there faster if I do it this way than if I were to... Uh, if I were to just walk there once we landed. Good. Obviously, it'll take him a couple of days to plan it, but no matter. Launch your internal plans as well. And now we can just kind of speed five and watch Australia fall. Unopposed. <laughs> Ooh, he's also just about to build... Some more shipyards. Maybe I should give him a second. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to, though. <laughs> it would be kind of funny, but nah. Not worth it. Let's torpedo reveal chance. It's pretty good. I would all, I would like the uh, the depth charge mortar and these these piercing shells. Also very useful. Um, we should also really be researching towards, you know, some actual artillery. I should probably... Yeah, let's start on the path to artillery. There's another 24 men for the Soviet contingency. Alright, you guys can go on the Mongolian border, I suppose. We need a general. We'll give them as much as they think they can handle. Which actually is very nearly all of it. There we go. You guys... That I had defending the line previously can just withdraw over here. How many of you are there? Only 13, yeah. So these guys, I think, now should all be ready and free to be stolen away. Just quickly check. Yep, looks like it. So you guys can all stop being at speed 5. You guys can all go over here. There was one of you that looked like they had something they need I needed them to do. Wasn't there? Yeah, you. Just grab that island before you leave. And you have alerted me to the presence of an ungarrisoned island, which is a blight that I cannot abide. These guys are all good. This one is garrisoned. This one's garrisoned. Good. The rest of you stay here for now. Okay, the landings on Australia obviously all going very well. No problems experienced yet. Men moving inland. Reinforcements proving completely unnecessary. Um, you guys can... Where do we need our next wave of infantry? I really don't know. I suppose I'll, I'll, I'll have some in reserve. Oh, I'm missing a defense on Nagasaki. That's not ideal. Pretty important freaking port. The Portuguese would be ashamed of us. Alright, in you go. But yeah, these extra fallback garrison guys, um, I think, can move to shore. Near Saigon's a big port. Oh, nice. Got some radar in here, too. We could be building more radar out here. Um, but there's not much point. We landed. We've landed. Give me an airbase. Give me a garrison. You know 
How we do? Delete the old order. Fantastic. Did I garrison this place ever? I did not. You good sir. Your time has come. Get out of here. This one? Nope. Also missed it. Good lord. Missing a bunch of them. There are a freaking crap ton of these little islands in my defense. Alright, you guys... Yeah. Alright, the 1914 sub-hull is done. Nice. Uh, I could get the snorkel ahead of time. But, uh... I don't think that's necessary. What else could I be researching right now? More heavy ships? I mean, we could get a new new couple of big battleships. Does seem kind of fun. Sure, let's do that. Right, so time to design a new sub. Been a while since we actually got to design a ship, so I am excited. All right. The 1940 sub hull is going to have torpedo tubes three. Wow, look at these bad boys. Oh, we can't put them on the middle though. Can I have them at the rear? I can. 82 submarine uh, torpedo attack. And yeah, look at that max speed. Just terrible. Only 8.5 visibility. Wowee. That's pretty good. All right, this is the 40 raid. It might be over the top for a raiding sub. Like, maybe we should just have... Uh, just have the, the one torpedo attack. Yeah, we probably should, actually. For the raider, that's what we'll do. Um, then we will actually have a line sub now, which is the one with which we actually intend to use in combat, because that that torpedo attack for that low production cost, I can't resist. And you are essentially a screen. And they're not really a screen, but I didn't freaking duplicate, did I? Um, they're not really a. They're, they're, I mean, they're, they're actually not a screen, but they're they're kind of a screen in that they're going to be deployed alongside capital ships and that kind of thing. The 1940 raid. Having actually duplicated this time. And now the 1940 uh, mine. Miner is going to want just mad mine laying tubes. And it will also get some decent torpedo tubes. And it still gets... Well, we could give it better detection, which would help it run away. But I don't think we need radar. I think I'd rather... I'd rather they just weren't detected. Good. And they're going to do 2.6 mine laying. Which is the same amount, I think, as the previous ones. But they're much, much less visible. Alright. 40 miner. Did I... Oh my goodness. <laughs> ah! I didn't duplicate. <laughs> the god darn uh, raiders. <laughs> so none of that. None of that. This is now the 40... Raider. Or Raid. And you get this symbol. Save. Alright. This time I've finally done it right. Good. So, we only want one more of each of these. You're not going to be done till January. He's already half done, so I should have let him finish, nonetheless. We're going to want some of all of them. Some miners, some raiders, some liners. And the liners are essentially just there so that we can have more torpedo attack in our big fleets. That's going to be harder for the enemy to destroy, essentially. You know, they're not going to be able to um, to see these guys, so they can't shoot them. Uh, which hopefully means they spend more of their time shooting my much more armoured ships. Plus, it's just a very cheap way of getting a lot of um, torpedo firepower onto the field. What could we reduce the production of? Anti-sub warfare is far less important these days. We're really not facing any subs at all. So I'm going to reduce that down. Uh, I want to do... I want some mad mining plays. So let's, let's put six factories on that. Good. Good. And, I, and honestly, I'm not experiencing almost any hostile mines. So I'm going to stop my sweep production. How many do we have now? We have one early sweeper. <laughs> but if we needed to sweep, we could just grab a bunch of old destroyers and retrofit them to have uh, sweeping equipment on them. That's, I mean, it wouldn't be a problem. Now, mining fleet. Go mine the western seaboard. Good luck. <laughs> Don't get caught. Engage only at extremely low risk. I believe in you. 
We'll be sending you more ships soon. More better ships as well. Okay. No getting caught. Short on aluminium once again. We can import from the Soviet Union, so that's fine. Okay, and we still have Gulf of Thailand banned. I don't think that's necessary anymore. Do we want to ban anywhere? Not really. The fall of New South Wales. The Empire of Japan has seized Sydney and the Australian capital. Boom. Get erect. Everyone, launch your attacks. Aggressively. And everyone should be assigned to the one with the plan. Good. Everyone's spreading out. Australia, surely nearly. Greece, no. Australia, surely nearly capitulated. Where are they? Australia is 99% of the way towards capitulation. Glory be. Some fresh blood. It's fine. Just go to a port defense. <clears throat> okay. The anti comintern Pact. Germany proposes that we sign a pact to address communism. It's a defensive alliance. Um, yeah, that seems smart. Oh, they have to actually formalize the pact, don't they, before it actually... Um... Yeah, they've done the anti it's the anti-Soviet pact they have to do in order to actually make it, like, really do anything. Greece still holding out valiantly. How many casualties has Greece taken in this war? It must be... Must be significant. Let's have a look. 200,000. That's not that bad, actually. Mostly taken against uh, against Italy. How about us? What's our casualty number up to? Probably 100,000? I would guess. 300,000! That's surprisingly high. I would have thought it was much lower than that. I guess we did do some uh, battle plans when we were pushing across... Across India because of the Soviet threat, meaning I wanted to hurry. Okay, you guys all fine. Now, Soviet contingency troops. You should all be going... Should all be in place now, I think. We shouldn't have any doubled up men out on these islands anymore. Good. Are you still invading? God, Australia. I don't know if you knew this. Big place. But the fall of Victoria. Or, no, this isn't Victoria. The whole area is Victoria. The fall of uh, Adelaide should spell their doom. The final... Resting place of the Australian government, holding out here in the only place that wasn't invaded, desperately making plans for how to hold the inner components of Australia, planning their long-term guerrilla warfare, when suddenly they surrendered. Japan! Nice! If you would just like to wrap up this area, that would be ideal. Okay, we can delete the old ones, and you know what time it is. It's everybody's favourite time. It's Port Garrison time. To Darwin. And here. And Brisbane. And Sydney. Good. Good, good, good. And we need some more port defenders. So I need these guys uh, as soon as possible. We are going to need more than this. Believe it or not. And I should really have them all just automatically heading down here. Rather than up here. You can get straight into the Pacific. And go defend Melbourne. Good. Okay, invasion of New Zealand time. I think... How are we going to invade New Zealand? We're going to... I think we're going to target Wellington. And then spread out from there. Rather than doing invasions across the whole place. And you. Hitoshi. You are going to lead it. We're going to want all of our marine forces landing simultaneously on Wellington. We're going to want a sizable detachment landing on all sides of the city. What are you? What are you currently assigned to? Where are you? If you don't, if you're not assigned to this order, where are you going? I'm confused as to what what your order is. Ah, this down here. Okay. So this is the remaining seven. Ideal. You seven are going to land from a different port, just so we can spread the supply usage as we're getting ready, to here. And I think that should work. We are going to need some more men, please. But I only want the cream, the creme de la creme, the very best. Does that bring us up to 24? Not quite. One more, please. 
Small divisions, ideally. Okay. Some marines. I guess we will launch a simultaneous invasion into uh, into the southern part as well. Because we have some spare men. You can go here. You, two of you can go do 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 from here to here. And you, brave individual, are going to land here in order to establish a pocket over Wellington. Good. To your stations, everybody. The remaining guys, you guys are no longer needed as a uh, as invasion forces. You're basically Soviet contingency forces. No, actually, you are reserve forces. Come back, just cancel all your orders, come here, and then train. You guys are going to be getting ready for the. Uh, actually, yeah, let's 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 call a spoon a spoon, spade a spade, whatever you want to call it. You guys are. The American Invasion Force, the AIF, is going to begin preparations. Soviets, you get low priority, by the way. Pacific, you get medium. Home, you get medium. The American Invasion Force and the Naval Invasion Force get high priority. You guys are now also part of the American Invasion Force. Congratulations. We will be... Uh, Operating on land and sea, so I'll give them just the traditional icon. And in preparation for this, you guys should also head back to the homeland. We will be... Uh, more orders will follow shortly. But just for now, return home. But we need to make sure someone finishes off this island first. Good. Okay. I've got 11 men here. What are you? Oh, you're just extra garrison guys. Ideal. Just what I needed. You guys can come down here. And anywhere else? Mm, yep. Keep forgetting Adelaide. And down here. And we're going to need how many men to garrison New Zealand? One, just two, I think. So we'll send two here in anticipation of that. And the rest of you can head here. Excellent. Superb. Off you go. Nice. Have I got someone en route here? Yes, I do. Good. Okay, time to... Uh, well, not launch this yet, but let's speed up time so we can get to it. I would also like to see... Uh, we've secured all these islands, I think, now? Yes. Okay. I could do with my full strike force. Well, no, let's just send the beta strike force. That should be fine. Beta Strike Force, if you would like to come and prepare to provide shore bombardment to Wellington, that would be lovely. And the Spotting Force, usually associated with the Prime Group, can come and spot down here. Make sure we don't have any problems. More monthly support equipment for my allies. Excellent. By allies, of course, I mean subservient puppets. Uh, we could do with an expanded light tank force. Ten gonna be enough. Ten more gonna be enough, probably. Uh, maybe twelve. Okay, you guys can deploy here. What else am I gonna want for the American invasion force? I'm gonna want a lot more marines. So we will start training them. What else am I gonna want? Um, I think that's might might be everything. Maybe one more army of 24 width. Sorry, uh, 40 widths. Can deploy down here. Good. What do we got here? Some more scouts. Lovely. You guys are welcome in here. What are my scouts up to right now? Just patrolling this region now. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, we haven't seen any enemy activity over here, but... It just makes sense, doesn't it, to have them uh, have them deployed around here. There's armor divisions, nice. And now I think it's probably time. Mm. Sorry, give me one second. What next? Bicycle battalions doesn't really do anything. Don't think I need those. I think, yeah, it's time for, um, not when you use Kamikaze, 
Probably time for naval production. Give me a fleet to block out the sky ocean. <laughs> I don't know. All right, you guys still not all in position. It's a big place they just had to invade. Give me less steel imports. Looks like we've got a bunch in Australia. Nice. Any free mill? Uh, any free uh, slots that I could I could use? Some here. Bunch of factories to repair. How is the resistance control going? We are getting some at the moment down here. Oh, a lot actually. Let's get these guys going. I know we've got men yet to arrive, but when you've got 0 0.9, 0 0.19 growth, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. We need to get this started now. Wow, plus 0.3. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. Good. And up here, that's shrinking actually. That's not going to grow later. That's not going to grow later. Perth, that's not going to grow because he's already all you're going to get. Same for you. Same for you, I think. Good. Okay, that should bring them under control. However, this has revealed that we are painfully short on military police. And we're going to have to occupy all of freaking America. So, let's get these guys ready to deploy and sent over to Dhaka, which is our military policing capital for some reason. What are you guys doing? No, 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 no. Just patrol down here in the Tasman Sea while you guys can regain organization. Ready to... If I, do I have to like turn automatic split off, on and off every so often? It's weird how it... Look, high repair priority, automatic split off. Why aren't you splitting? It's bizarre. All right, they have seven men in Wellington as well as uh, forts and coastal forts. They are, uh, you know, they expected this. But we have planes ready to port strike, close air support, and air superiority. I don't think we need to port strike. But I guess with the naval bombers, I might as well port strike if there's anything to see. Oh, there are some ships in port down there, actually. So we might as well make some moves against them. Next tech. Oh, God, we don't have the uh, advanced fire control systems yet. We need to work on that. And they are sending some planes against me. Has everyone arrived? Not quite. Some divisions decided have not arrived. Who? These guys just setting off. Okay. Keep port striking them. Oh, hello. There's an enemy uh, enemy ships right here. Fight them. Okay, we got them. And they're immediately going to get sunk, of course. Very nice. Including their pride, which is good. That'll hurt their war supports. Let us uh, conquer them more easily. And some of our naval bombardment worked too. You guys arrived up here yet? Some of you have. Good. We'll keep them training until they're all regulars ready for the invasion of the United States. Oh, and the Canadian Confederation. That's new. They uh, must have uh, gained an independence level. I thought they started as a colony. Maybe that's something different. Maybe they have a decision to do with it. There you go, a few more ships. Just keep raiding the port over and over until they're... Uh, till they no longer exist, essentially. Do you guys not actually finish off this island? Come now. If you could just wrap that up, that would be ideal. I want clean borders. Now, if we take New Zealand, does that give us... Total control? I think, yeah, that's... Apart from these ones, obviously, in the Alaskan island chain and this little titchy one here and the, uh... Whatever this place is called, Galapagos. That gives us total control over every island in the Pacific, counting, you know, Australia and New Zealand stuff. Pacific and Indian Oceans. Pretty damn good, though I say so myself. Is that the last of their fleet? No, I think they have two, one more ship. Hiding in Christchurch. All right, men, are you ready? They are. Launch. Off we go. I'll launch it simultaneously, even though they're not going to arrive quite at the right times. But that's okay. That is a feature I miss from Hearts Fine Three. I, I very much doubt it will ever make it into this one because it was one of those like super fine grain. No, Greece, poor Greece. It was one of those fine grain control things that just doesn't suit Hoy to the same way that. Uh, in the same way that 
it suited Hoi three. Sorry, Hoi four in the same way that it suited Hoi three. But the um, you could tell units to invade somewhere, and you could tell them what time and day you wanted them to arrive. It was pretty cool. All right, here we are. Obviously, the actual naval invasion itself is not going brilliantly because they have so many men on the port. But I'm going to rapidly move north, secure a defensive position against anyone coming south. And we have got them encircled as soon as we land here. You likewise move south. Help secure Christchurch, please. The attack on Christchurch itself might go better. We'll have to see when the Marines arrive. Landing next to it's going pretty well. Let's go straight in. Yeah, no problem. Nice. They're uh, very weak divisions holding the city. Head south, seize the airfield. You must have seen this coming, New Zealand. It's, uh, it was rather inevitable. But yes, obviously, while our guys filling the front are these Marines, they're going to have some trouble, but soon to launch the invasion based on land, at which point I think it will uh, turn to our favour. Good, we got some relatively decent defensive positions here. Have we seize that airbase yet? No, get on that. An incline belt cruiser scheme, good. Giving us better cruiser armour, potentially. Don't think I need the anti-sub warfare tech. More heavy damage seems fun, so let's get on that. Free dockyards, eh? I'd love... Give me just, yeah, just miners for days. And also some more uh, line subs, I think, would be good. Oh, yes. New marines can all come and land down here, the ones that were driven off. That's fine. Now, give me that airbase. Good. Uh, I don't have any planes pre-positioned, which is foolish of me, but oh well. We already have superiority just from our planes from the carriers. Which is pretty good, ought to be honest. I'm driven back here. Oh, that's not good. Don't want them to uh, unencircle capital. So let's move in there. Grab the whole area. Good. And these guys just have to hold out. I'd rather you stayed there, actually. Just hold out while we deal with the capital. Are struggling. If they did a counter offensive from Wellington right now, we'd be in trouble. But as we move men north, we should be able to, to make some moves there that will help. And the planes arriving should give us some pretty good bonuses. These guys still in their supply grace. Can you see how much longer of their supply grace they have? I don't think so. Can I be hovering here? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, they... Uh, ah, damn, I moved out to the side. Shouldn't have done that. All right, but those guys coming in are very weak. All right, how about now? Second offensive. No, the fort is uh, causing problems. Yep, that's going to be an issue. These are my... Fi some of my finest men are in this pocket. I do not accept that they would they will fall. Uh, I told you the uh, I told you New Zealand was going to be a troublemaker. If you could come over here, you'd be able to support more men. No, one of them got encircled and destroyed. So they need to fall back. Okay, but I have these guys that were going to be the port garrisons, and they've probably left this place undefended. So let's pull the old switcheroo. Excuse me, sorry. Pull the old switcheroo and uh, run these guys out of supply. I'm going to need some more men. You 14. Get your butts down here. We're going to launch some more invasions. Just when they thought we were spent, we're going to surprise them with a bunch more men. Good. Activate when ready. All we have to do is hold out until those invasions arrive, which actually, if I can make them quite big, is going to be quite a while. Let's uh, shrink them. Seven guys in one province is uh, excessive. All right, how about that? Longest one is 14 days planning. Not bad at all. Okay, you guys, <clears throat> capturing in there. Let's let's try another offensive on Wellington from three directions. Mitigates the port, fort defense somewhat. If our men would actually reinforce in, there they go. No, no, they're way superior. We're not, we're not going to break in there. All right, just keep holding here. 
<clears throat> you just have to hold until these naval invasions arrive. Which won't be long, especially not the uh, the main one. Which, you know, obviously the one to take the port. Which should be ready very shortly. Three more days, then that will launch. These guys from the south, likewise, we could do some uh, quick and dirty naval invasions like this. And you two from here to here. It's just suddenly they're going to find themselves encircled from a direction they were not expecting. That's the intent. But no, 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 don't activate the ground invasion plans. Good. You guys were supposed to be falling back already. Okay, hold. I believe in you. <clears throat> you guys as well. Let's give me another naval invasion here. To, I mean, honestly, just here. Just come and send some reinforcements that way. I do like that you can do that, by the way. You can naval invade your own lands just to send men over. Our, our bombardment from the ship should be helping. And we've got a little bit of close air support present as well. If you wrap up in the south, that'll be fine. Non-aggression pack from Bulgaria? Sure. Even though you killed Greece, and I don't like you for it. Looks like our supply grace is going to hold. At least until the first invasion lands. There's the Malentrop Rimentrop Pact, which means Germany's going to give up half of Poland way, way late. It's a shame, of course, because we signed the uh, anti Comintern Pact for no particular reason. <clears throat> I just hope they didn't leave anyone behind to defend... What, how do you say that? Uk, Uk, Orkland? Not sure. These two holding valiantly. These men are the veterans of a hundred battles, having been part of everything from the taking of China to uh, to the invasion of India, the attack on the Malaya, so sort of taking Brunei. These guys have been everywhere and seen it all. And now I will not see them fail to the damn New Zealand in North Island. There goes your port, New Zealand. Turn your attention to your rear, otherwise you're going to be in big trouble. Your supplies will drain. Okay, reinforcements. Reinforcements arriving. Good. You guys. More reinforcements. Oh, they already have a plan. You guys. I will not see my men perish. Send in the reinforcements. Okay, we landed in Auckland. Let's start pushing south. All we have to do is hold one of these provinces. Okay, got another airbase. Do I have any close air support? I don't think I've been building close air support. <laughs> we have some. Mostly probably just that we captured. And it won't be able to do anything here because it has no supply until we break in from the north. <clears throat> Surprise! <laughs> yes, good, okay. That's going to delay at least the attack here. More marines arriving for reinforcements. Marines strike out north towards the supply base. Ah, having trouble up there though. Free civvy factories. All right, I suppose worse comes to worse. I need a fact. I need a dockyard here. Okay, you two. Another naval invasion. Get me reinforcements. Okay, we got some more men into the uh, into the pocket. That's good. These guys have a nice fresh supply grace. Pin them, pin them, pin them. Surely we can break out here. Ah, oh, especially if they leave. <laughs> oh, we might be able to break through here. That would facilitate uh, making a connection to Auckland. That would be excellent. Floating fortress, nice. And finally, carrier battle groups. Nice. Naval air agility from, from carriers. Very important. <clears throat> ah, we're being driven back. No. Never. No, no, never, no more. Bring in more men. Marines are landing. You, activate this plan. Launch, launch, launch. It's tense. I do not want these guys to die. They do not deserve it. They have fought hard for their country. They deserve to survive. We're going to live on. <laughs> and all that. All right, get them there. Good. It's really in this episode, but I want to, I want to know these guys are safe. Okay, yeah, you guys moving up here. <clears throat> as long as these guys can hold out long enough. Come on, bring them down. And one of you should be support attacking. Good. More free civ factories. Um, 
Sure. Let's just end the oil crisis forever by building so many synthetic refineries that we essentially have our own Texas. Seems good. Okay, come on. Move north. Move north. We've broken them here. We just have to hold here long enough. Along with support from the north. Yes, broken them. And broken them. Come on. Come on. And... We need to hold them off, though. No, don't let them, don't leave the province. This advanced fire control system. Nice. Get some computing machines done. Drive them back. Secure the supply lines. Keep them pinned. Move in and can secure some... Done. They took the airbase off us. Come on. In you get. 18 hours. Yes! We got supply to our men. Yes! The heroes of China will not fall. Will not suffer an ignominious death in New Zealand. We will live on. We're going to survive. We're going to live on and all that. All right, great. Now, Wellington, it's only a matter of time. Then we can move to, to take you over. Good. We did lose uh, two guys during this invasion, which is uh, more than we lost during most invasions. So, really, New Zealand, it's just a compliment to your, uh, your capabilities that you actually managed to take out any of my divisions. But it's not going to help you. Fantastic. 1940 heavy ship hull, excellent. And now that we are using um, line subs, we should get the torpedo of real chance reduction. Good, driving them out of North Island. Just keep them under pressure because they can't regain. They can't regain org. We can, which means we win essentially. And now I could start garrisoning some of these ports. So we'd have to do it afterwards. Good. Alright, speed five. Let's get this done. Come now. I know they're fighting on their home territory, but really, bring them down. New tech. Uh, yeah, just keep going with the artillery, I think. And there they go. Alright, nice. Now, you guys, let's be having you down here. And let's kick them out of Wellington, shall we? They even might start having supply problems in Wellington. <laughs> Their capital itself. We're still fine on supply here now. Yeah, good. Alright. Beginning with the heroes of China. Launch. Right. It's going to be a tough fight because, you know, there's a lot of them. But we have the initiative. We have the glorious heroes of China crushing their way through. The seasoned veterans. And New Zealand has capitulated. That's what I thought. <laughs> Excellent. You guys. Garrison down here. And the spare uh, Pacific troops can head back to their regularly scheduled programming. The Naval Invasion Force, having served its purpose and secured the Pacific and the Indian Ocean, can now cease to exist and be absorbed into the American Invasion Force. They will now head home for a hero's welcome before preparing to embark on their next great venture. Fantastic. Well, I will call it a part there. We have total control over the Pacific. Uh, it's, there's a temptation to end it here, to say, okay, at this point, we seek peace terms with the Allies. Uh, but I don't think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to press on we're going to uh, really show the United States who's boss. They're still on civilian economy. <laughs> we now have uh, 72 naval dockyards. I might want to build some more, actually. They're, uh, you know, we need to maintain at least, what, three times their naval dockyards or something just for total supremacy. Okay, so in the next episode, we're going to begin plans in earnest. Infrastructure plans, training plans, organizing our army plans for an invasion of the American West Coast along with the uh, the Mexicans as well. I think what we will do is we will uh, launch an invasion of the United States, capture like this much of it at least, as well as Texas for the uh, to cut them off from their oil supplies, and then we will uh, 
we will role play a, uh, a peace conference at that stage, I think. We'll also capture Western Canada and that kind of thing. But that's going to happen all in the next couple of episodes. Of course, it'll take a little while to plan. We're going to need to build, uh, you know, more more bases we might need to build in this region. Like we might want to have a naval base up here to su supply the logistics of an invasion of Canada and all that kind of good stuff. But all that and more in future. Two oceans down. The final ocean in the three oceans is actually the ocean of oil in Texas. I bet you didn't see that coming. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.